channel here on YouTube. So if you're new to me, let me just take a couple seconds and explain what I've got going. Um, I've got a channel here that explains, um, I share my life story with you as far as um, depression and anxiety and um, some insomnia and just all kinds of crazy things going on in my life that um, nothing seemed to work until I found um, magic mushrooms. And I've been microdosing magic mushrooms for at least at least a year and a half right now, and they've totally, totally changed my life. And what I've done, I've made a ton of videos um, on this channel right here, um, all about pretty much anything, almost anything you need to know about microdosing magic mushrooms. So if you're brand new to me or brand new to um, microdosing or curious or don't want to know, or, or want to know, not don't want to know, if you want to know, um, I suggest you check out, you subscribe to the channel here and check out um, my videos that I've made for you on microdosing and how to microdose magic mushrooms. Um, it's not medical advice. Um, everything I share with you is just simply my life experience and what I've heard from other people, but it's not meant to be or construed as medical advice. So um, what I've been doing um, over the past couple days is I've been taking it a little step further and doing what I'm calling my morning microdose. And I'm doing kind of like just a little live stream. Yesterday I was outside walking kind of in the neighborhood, uh, recording as I'm walking. Today I'm more inside because I'm just not ready to get outside yet. But um, I just kind of come on for, I don't know, just 10 minutes or so and give like a little little tip here and there, talk to you guys if there are people in the room or, or in, you know, watching live stream. I can, we can interact a little bit. Sometimes there are a bunch, sometimes there are very few, but a lot of people also watch this after the fact, um, you know, you'll, maybe you're not up this early, maybe you're in a different time zone, so maybe you'll, you'll want to watch it later. But I do suggest, if possible, I'm in Utah, which is mountain time. Um, if you're out and about in the morning and uh, you want just uh, want something to do or hang out with or somebody to hang out with, I suggest you kind of come hang out with me. You'll, uh, if you subscribe and, and you enable your notifications, um, you will see when I'm broadcasting live. So um, I want to share something a little weird that happened yesterday, actually. Um, so this really doesn't have a lot to do with magic mushrooms, but maybe it does, because magic mushrooms have a way of changing lives and changing the way you um, think about things and rewiring your brain. And um, I, I find myself doing things differently now than I did a couple of years ago, for sure. There's no question about it. And feeling different and feeling better. So yesterday, I'm sitting out on my front porch right here in my house and um, drinking some coffee. And just, it's a beautiful day. It's a Sunday, beautiful after morning to afternoon. And um, some woman comes walking by. I had never seen her before. She didn't really look like she fit in um, to this neighborhood, but that's, you know, we, we have a park across the street, so a lot of different people come walking by, so that's all fine. So she stops at my gate, and she leans over the gate, and I'm on the porch, and she says to me, do you have a light? <laughs> and I'm not a smoker. Um, we do light some incense and things like that in, uh, uh, in here, but I, I wasn't, I didn't want to get involved with this woman. She just didn't look like she didn't look like the kind of person I want to engage with. So I said, um, no, I don't. I'm sorry. She began to go crazy, I guess. Uh, her personality like just went, went really weird. And we've got a wooden gate out front, a wooden fence and a gate around our house. And um, she began to start to kick in my gate. And she was just furious and going crazy. And I literally was watching her kick my gate in and break my gate. Now, what did I do? Well, I will tell you, a few years ago, I probably would have reacted differently, and I, I probably would have confronted her in some way, or at least started screaming at her, or I, I don't, I would have, it would have been, I would have reacted in a, in a not so good way, probably. Now, I feel myself as much more centered and my brain works in totally different ways. So in the past where I would have reacted negatively to something, and it, don't get me wrong, this was a really, really negative uh, action that she did towards me and my property and my home. 
Um, not good at all. But I guess my brain very quickly was able to weigh things out and say, look, she's not a threat to your life right now, at least. She's not a threat to your wife's life. She's not a threat to, she's not gonna, she's not burning your house down. She's not really threatening anything like really serious other than kicking in a gate, which a gate can be repaired. So I just stood there, watched her do it. I didn't say anything. She was cursing and just loud and, and it was crazy, but I didn't say anything. Um, I just watched her kick the gate in. And after she kicked the gate in, she screamed something more at me and just continued down the road. Now, I think I did the right thing because I could have gotten more up in her face. I could have started screaming. I could have got, and even worse. I am, let's just say, um, without saying too much, because I don't like to talk about this too much because it's personal, but um, I am prepared, and you can read between the lines, I am prepared for someone coming here and trying to violate my space in a serious way. I'm prepared. Um, but having said that, taking something to the next level when there's not really a threat to your life or a serious threat to property, a serious threat to property is she's coming up, breaking in windows and, and trying to burn the house down. I mean, we've never let it get to that point anyway, but that would be like more of a serious threat to property or, or somebody's life. This was a woman, presumably homeless woman, kicking in my gate was not a serious threat to me, to my wife, or to anybody right around me. So I, I, I let it go. And my, my, my brain was saying like, okay, she's doing this, it's really bad, but, but you don't want to take this to another level right now. Which I think was the best choice. She left, my wife and I fixed the gate. It took, it took all but five or 10 minutes. It was, it was, there's nothing to it. And, and after this happened, I felt really good. Now, I didn't feel good that she kicked my gate in. That was horrible. And she was a, just a mess, mess of a woman. And I feel really bad for her, actually. Probably on some type of meth or something. I don't even know. By the way, if you're here right now, say hello. Uh, this, this is a live stream. We're doing live stream. We're doing live stream in the morning for a reason because I want to interact with you. So if you're here, if, if, if you're not shy, that is, if you're not shy, just give me a little in the comment section. Just say, hey, Dave, I'm here, or, or something, or make a comment to what I'm saying. I just want to, I want to see you guys. I want to see you. It'll be fun. And I want to build this thing up. So, hey, Dom, how you doing? Um, just on my coffee break at work. I don't know what's happening. I just showed up in the middle. That's okay, Dom. I'll tell you what. Um, I'm talking about something, an incident that happened yesterday. When you get a chance, I don't want to get you in trouble at work, but when you get a chance, um, watch it from the beginning. It's a, it's a, it's a pretty cool story, and it, it definitely relates to um, how my life has changed through, partly through microdosing and, and magic mushrooms. So, so check it out from the beginning. But Dom, I'm, I'm really glad you're here and I always appreciate your comments on my channel here. Um, I really, I love your energy. So thanks for being here. Um, so I, I felt I did the right thing. Because again, um, hey, Kathy, how are, from Halifax, Nova Scotia. I love, love, love you. Love it, love it, love that you're here and love our neighbors from Canada for sure. My wife and I were just there. Uh, we were in Canada um, over the, um, sometime early summer, I wanna say late May, early June. We um, took a little tour in our, um, in our little RV van, uh, traveling across the Canadian Rockies and um, we, we were in, uh, um, what was it? Um, Glacier National Park here in the US and then into um, Waterton and then into the, well into the Canadian Rockies. Love, love our neighbors in Canada. So thanks for thanks for being there for us. We appreciate you guys as as well as you probably appreciate us. It's a it's a um, good relationship. Um, anyway, um, who else is here? Anybody else here? Well, as you come in, just introduce yourself. And and again, my my goal is to kind of try to build this 
morning, my morning microdose into like a little community work. Um, so I did this years ago on Periscope and then Periscope went away. I don't know if you guys remember that, but we had like, we had like a little community and we meet up every morning. It was really cool. It wasn't just me talking. That's not, that's not the goal of these little live stream videos. The, um, the goal of the live stream videos is to develop a little community of people like Dom and Kathy come on and just say hello. And, um, we kind of get into conversations and you can ask questions. That, that's, that's the goal of this. This is a little bit different than the regular videos I'm, I'm put out on my channel that are just strictly, you know, me sharing my life story about microdosing. So that's where we are. So anyway, getting back to this incident yesterday and this woman, um, I feel I definitely did the right thing by not taking it to a more serious level. That could have just been bad for everybody. And the reason, again, is because my brain has been rewired. Um, I think differently. I look at situations differently. Um, I, um, I'm more centered for sure. And it helps. So not only with anxiety, depression, whatever you may have, PTSD, uh, uh, you know, the list goes on and on, insomnia, uh, uh, eating disorders. Uh, it could be, it could be anything. It's, it, what I found with using magic mushrooms is it, it helps things in your life way past that. It really, really rewires your brain and, um, life becomes really, really easier. It flows easier. It's, it's, it's better. It's, it's, it's a happier place. Um, that's just my, my, that's my, my, that's my experience so far. Um, I was going to say something else. Um, I can't remember now, but it doesn't matter because this is my morning microdose. It's a live stream that I'm just planning to interact with you guys. That's all it is. Very informal. Sometimes I'll be inside here. Sometimes I'll be walking around. Sometimes maybe I'll take a hike in the mountains and you can see the scenery while we're all talking. It's, it'll be kind of cool. I think it's kind of cool. So anyway, maybe this is a good place to stop. If you're here, if you're here and have not introduced yourself yet, let me see a hello. I just want to see a little hello from you. Wait, tell me where you're from. And again, the more we see each other's names, the more we know each other and um, the more we feel it's like a little, a little, my morning microdose. You like the alliteration? You like the alliteration, my morning microdose? The more we feel like it's a little, a little community. Now, some people will come in and hang and, and um, you're, you don't want to be really seen or recognized. And that's cool too. That's totally cool. And, and, um, probably still the vast majority of people. How often do you do this? Oh, oh so Dom, I, so, okay, here's the story. Um, I just started, this is really like the third one. And the first two were just tests. I was walking outside and, and I, I hope the sound quality today is better. Hey, Natalie, how you doing from Florida? What part of Florida? And we have Michael here. Um, so the, the one yesterday I, I, I looked at again and, um, and the sound quality, the audio was just was just horrible. I was using a pair of um, of uh, wireless earbuds, and and the sound just turned out. It was like, <laughs> um, it was it was it was horrible. I'm embarrassed to actually have it up there. Orlando, we were just traveling through Orlando. Well, oh, not okay, not Orlando, close enough. Uh, we actually had some family in Orlando we didn't get to see. We were traveling through Florida in our. We did a, a four week cross country trip in our van. Um, and, um, started here in, in Salt Lake and traveled East. And, and we went, we were supposed to visit some friends in, 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 in Atlanta, but they got COVID. So we didn't visit them, of course, but then we, so we diverted down to, um, 30A and, and along the, along the coastline there on, on the Gulf of Mexico. And, and I, I'd been there before, but hadn't really spent a lot of time there. And I gotta tell you, that was really awesome. 30A was um it's 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 that whole area that whole coastline is called the, what's called the forgotten coastline it, it it's really beautiful it's really nice love road trips i natalie we love road trips that's what we have a we have a little um you probably if you've seen any of my other videos you've probably seen maybe a hint of this we have like a little little rv it's like it's a van but it's got so it's not one of those tremendous, tremendous RVs that, you know, you see going down the road and you're scared to death because they're like almost the size of trucks, but they're like, um, 
it's like a little van. And, um, it, but it's got everything we need in it. It's got a sofa that folds into a bed. It's got a bathroom. It's got a stove, a kitchen, a, a refrigerator, a closet. It's got, it's got, and, and it drives. <laughs> so we took it, so uh, we took it on a, we just got back like a week ago on a four week trip across the USA. And it was, um, so wonderful. So I was in your beautiful state of Florida and we had a great time along a 30A that the Gulf Coast and then into Jacksonville where I do have, we do have some family there. We hung out there for all. Mary, May Lee, how are you doing? Peace to you. Um, great to see you guys. We're building this up a little bit again. Like, so if you just got on this live stream, I just want to um, say again, um, I, so I used to do this years ago on the app called Periscope, and we had developed like a little community. And so I saw some of the same people every morning. We did the live stream, and it just got to be really cool. So like people like Dom, Natalie, Kathy, a lot of you guys. I want I want to see you more. And then what happens is we get to all know, and and you all get to know each other. So I've got some friends on when I used to do the old live stream that still are in touch with each other, like outside of me. It just, it, it got to be really, really fun. Um, and again, remember, just keep in mind, a lot of people will be watching this after the fact on, on the replay, which is fine too, but if you can be on the live stream, that's even better because it's cool. We get to be together live. I am actually live. Um, if you, if I cough, like <coughs> you'll hear me cough in real time. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it didn't happen. It didn't happen three hours ago. It happened just now. It, it's real time, people. It's real time. Um, so, Dom, I hope that answers your question about how long have I been doing. I just I did a couple tests. This one, I, I'm hoping the audio quality is better because the first two they sucked. You can go back and watch them. They're they're on they're on my channel. They're, I kept them, although I probably shouldn't have kept them just because the audio was so bad. But. Um, and again, um, if if you have if anybody has if you, let's let's do this let's take let's take one I've got ten of you on right now which is it's great I really appreciate every single one of you ten people in the room with me right now um, I'll take one question how's that somebody have a question I'll try my best to answer it in real time live on this live stream this morning so. If you want to know anything about me or, or um, my life or microdosing or how, hey, Billy, how you doing there, my friend? Good to see you. Thanks for checking in. We really appreciate that. Um, any question at all about, um, that could be anything. I don't, I'll try to answer it. I can't, I'm not a, I don't, I don't know everything about everything. Trust me, I'm a regular guy just like you guys and gals. Um, but I've, I've lived a life that um, has been pretty unique. Um, and good, very good, and at times, bad. I had a crazy first marriage that lasted, um, let's see, let me read this before it goes away. I love traveling. It's from Dom. It's fun to meet new people. I need to explore Canada more, but also I like to travel to different countries. It went away. I didn't see the very last part. It went away, but um, Dom, well, um, I, I will comment on that. Um, traveling is, um, these days for us, it's one of the best things we do. Cam, how are you doing? Appreciate you being here with us. That's great, so cool. But Dom, um, traveling is, um, it's, 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 it's meeting new people and just seeing, Karen, how are you doing? Seeing what's going on in different parts of our country or if you're an international traveler, my wife has to, happens to be from Japan. So I've been to Japan many times. I haven't been now in a few years because of COVID. She's actually going back next month to help her parents move, but um, I haven't been for a while, but whenever I'm in Japan, it, it's, I love it. I, 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 I love the culture. I love the people. It's really good to get to see, um, even in this country, there are different places like the mid, let's face it, the Midwest is very different from LA. So it, it's good to see how we have so many different types of people and um, ethnicities and, and just all, it's, 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 it's so cool. Um, um, Karen, travel talk, love it. Just went to Portugal recently and it was amazing. Um, I have never been to Portugal. I would, I think it would be really cool. I've been to Spain when my daughter um, was in college. That was, so that was quite a while ago. Um, 
she spent a semester there living with a, a, a family and, and uh, studying abroad. And I, I went there for like, I think I went there for a week and hung out with her. And it was, it was just a really, really cool experience. I went by myself. My wife didn't come with me. Um, and uh, it was just, um, and I don't want to make it sound like my wife wasn't interested in going there. She, she was, but, um, but my present wife, uh, Yoko, is, is not my daughter's, like, biological mom. So, so um, it was a little bit early in our relationship, and I just felt, I, maybe she felt like it. And maybe she, I wasn't even with her yet, I don't remember. But anyway, it was just, I just went by myself. I went by myself. And it was, it was, it was a blast. Um, so, tr yeah, traveling is, you see, let me talk to you for a second about work, enjoying your life, having fun, traveling. Like, I worked for decades and decades of my life, and I still do, I still do some work. I, 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 this is, I consider this, even though this is really fun, this is, this is work, because I put work into this. I take my um, microdosing channel very seriously. Um, I don't just throw a video up there and hope for the best. I, 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 whenever I do something, I really, I, I try to do the best I can at something. So I look, even though this is a lot of fun, it's still, it's still work. Um, but I see too many people, all they want to do is they want to spend their lives working, working, making more money, becoming more successful, competing, working more, making more money. Com Let me tell you people that Looking back now, that is not a good life. Kathy, I've been on, let me take a break. I've been on SSRIs for 25 years. I recently tried a macrodose I wanted. I didn't see the very end of that, so, so it went away. See, these, I think YouTube needs to keep these messages up a little bit longer. So all I saw was you um, were on an um, antidepressant for 25 years. You tried macrodosing, or micro, you tried either micro or macro. I didn't see it, but then... Um, then the message went away. So I, I could just say, I was on, I'll just comment on that the best I can without seeing the whole message. Um, I was on, um, what was I on? I was on, um, oh my God, I got like a mental block. Um, um, SSRI, um, it's the most common, one of the most common SSRIs. It'll come back to me. I can't, for some reason, I know it, but I just can't think of the name because I'm, sometimes you just get these mental blocks and you just can't think. Um, Anyway, I was on it for a couple of years. Lexapro, thank you, Michael. <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> That's exactly right. I was like, why couldn't I think of that? Because sometimes your brain just goes weird and you can't think. Um, love the arrangement of this. It's great how we can com get together and commute. See, that's, Dom, that's my, <laughs> thanks, Michael. That, Dom, that's, that's my goal with these little morning things. These little mor my morning, that's my goal. We can get together. You can see what I'm, you know, when I'm recording a regular video, it, it's not scripted, but I'm, I'm one for 10 minutes and I record and then I stop. Here, we can see each other's, not just me, we can see each other's personalities. You can see that I'm a real person. I've got a real life. I've got, I, I make mistakes like anybody else. I forget words like anybody else. When I'm making a regular video, I can edit. Here, I can't edit. If I forget a word or if I stutter, if I cough, if I have some kind of weird attack, you see it. You see that I'm, I'm real. Um, but anyway, I was, on, I was on Lexapro for a couple, probably at least a couple years. Um, but I wanted, I just wanted to try, I, read, I did so much research on, on, on uh, psilocybin and magic mushrooms and microdosing. I wanted to try something different, more natural. I'm not against pharmaceuticals. I'm not one of these people that hates doctors and hates pharmaceuticals. Um, okay, Cam, yeah, thank you so much for being here. I, I appreciate people are in and out and you gotta go to work. I, I totally get that. So I really appreciate the, the time you spent with us this morning. See you soon for sure, because I'm gonna try to do this as many mornings during the week as possible. Um, but, the, but when I started using the magic mushrooms, um, I was able to wean off of the antidepressant, of the Lexapro, and um, I didn't do it right away. I didn't want to do anything. I didn't want to rush anything, but um, as I felt really, really, really better and more confident and comfortable with the um, magic mushrooms, I started slowly, 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 along with the advice of my, or the help of my doctor, I was, I was totally uh, transparent and forthright with him, and he was uh, in favor of what I was doing and what I was trying. Um, He's a psychiatrist, so he's he's not just a not just a uh, you know general general doc, but he was he specialized in psychiatry, of course. So um, I've been off of antidepressants for probably since the 
close to the beginning of this year. Maybe it could have, they could have laced it still into February, possibly. But somewhere around the beginning of the year. Been off of them. Been great. I've been feeling fantastic. I, I don't have any plans to go back on the antidepressants, the pharmaceuticals. Um, I definitely still micro. Yesterday I did a little bit more than a, I guess it was a little bit more than a micro. It's like a, maybe if there's a such thing as a large micro dose. I did maybe yesterday, it was Sunday. I did like maybe, um, I didn't weigh the whole thing out, but it was probably about 0.35 grams. So 350 milligrams, which is a little bit more than, you know, typical micro dose is anywhere from 50 milligrams to 200, 250 in that, in that range. It's a little bit higher. It, I, I really felt really good from it. It was, it was a, definitely a very nice sweet spot. Um, will I plan to do higher dose? I've done, I've done upwards of one to two grams, but they were when I was on Lexapro. So I didn't really have the true feeling of one to two grams on, as, as you're on Lexapro at the same time. So now that I'm totally off of Lexapro, um, I'm going to do larger doses also, and I will report everything to you, but I haven't really done much in the way of larger doses because I had COVID back in end of June, beginning of July. And it seemed like, by the way, it seemed like with COVID, it seemed like um, everything was magnified. It was really, really weird. I would take, towards the end of my COVID, I would take a little, little microdose. So say, let's say 50 to 100 milligrams. And wham, it it hit me like like this is really strong and, and, and sometimes uncomfortable. I didn't know why I didn't, I didn't really know it was because of COVID or I didn't think I just, I just thought something was really getting weird. But then as the COVID wore off and I had, I definitely had some symptoms of, of long, longer COVID because I was still coughing for a good, um, one month, at least one month after COVID. It just, it was, it was not fun. It showed me that there are definitely things that linger in the body. Even once you test negative again, there's still think COVID is, is a weird virus. There's still things that lingered and, and, and wreak havoc on certain systems. It's bizarre. So I was noticing that really after COVID, um, I would take like a tiny, tiny, tiny microdose and it would, wow, it was a lot. And I thought maybe my whole body changed, but, and maybe I can't handle microdoses anymore, but that's not true. That, that, got back to normal. Now I think I'm pretty sure I'm back to normal. Debbie, hey, from the UK, thanks for being here. Feel anything starting with a hundred milligrams capsule. I have already bad anxiety. Um, so my, my, my recommendation is if, if you haven't seen my video yet on this channel called, um, let me see, Nancy, I've been microdosing for about a month and a half. I looked at one gram dose on Saturday. It took me six full days. Yeah, you got to, yeah. Uh, I mean, hopefully when you say recover, hopefully it wasn't, hopefully it wasn't negative. Hopefully it wasn't a negative experience. Um, but maybe you felt the effects for six days or so. But anyway, back to my other, um, what was I saying about, um, oh, oh, so yeah. So, so if you haven't, um, if you haven't, um, watched the video on, on this channel, it's called the absolute beginner's guide. Write this down. The absolute beginner's guide to microdosing magic mushrooms. Like, so if you're fairly new, if you have any, this, what I did I, a few months ago, I did a video that takes you from start to finish, st totally pretending that you don't know anything about microdosing magic mushrooms. It tells you exactly how to start, what dose, um, how to increase if you need to. It, it tells you everything. And again, it's not medical advice. It's I am a doctor. But I am a, my doctor degree. I'm a retired dentist, so I'm not. I'm not giving out medical advice here. That's not what I'm doing on this YouTube channel. But I'm. I'm pretty much give, tell, talking to you about my life experience and what I've, what I've done, what's worked for me, what hasn't worked for me, and you can take it from there and decide um, what you want to do. If anything, you don't have, you can be, you can be a member of this channel and, and never microdose that. And that's totally fine. If you're interested in the lifestyle or then please stick with us. If, and if you are a microdoser or macro or somewhere in between, um, it's, it's, it's really, it's just something that it's going to be mainstream 
it's gonna it's gonna take a while. It's gonna be mainstream, but it's it's not gonna be tomorrow. And what whatever people are saying, it's not gonna be next year. It's not gonna be the year after. But but I don't know if it's gonna be in my lifetime mainstream. But it will be. Um, Natalie, oh well, I was lead expanded function dental assistant for. Tw oh wow, EFTA. You're an F. You were an EFTA. So I was I was so I was a dentist practicing dentist for about. 13 years, then I changed, morphed it into another business. Um, I think it was Natalie, if it's Natalie, check out my, um, I've got a, another business, which I'm not active anymore. I just took a backseat because I, I just kind of had enough. I just, my life is my life and I want to do what I want to do. And I did this for decades, but it's um, mado.com, actually, M-A-D-O-W.com. It's, it's, it's a business where my brother and I have worked with dentists um, and team members all over, the, all over the North America for, for decades. He still does it. He's still totally active. I just told him a few years ago, I have kind of had enough. I just don't want. To, I just don't want to do it anymore. I sp I've spoken to audiences, dental audiences all over North America. Um, it, it's an it was been an amazing ride. Felt the same to let it go. Never been happier. Still love, but from a, that's exactly how I feel. And I still love all my dental friends, but from a distance. I don't. I don't have to be. I don't have to be doing it every day. And although the speaking and, and um, consulting, that was a lot more fun than actually doing clinical, clinical dentistry. Still, that got, it just, that got to be too much for me. And um, it was playing crazy games with my body and with my mind. I just, I just didn't want to do it anymore. So this, taking a step back, and I'm, I'm old. I'm old, and why do I have to keep, why do I have to keep working? Why do I have to keep doing that? I, there's no reason, to, I, you know, for what? For what to keep making more and more and more money and keep having more and more anxiety? No, I don't. I don't need it. I just don't. I don't need to do that. My life is simple. When we moved to Utah a few years back from the East Coast, we sold a lot of our stuff and became more minimalistic. And it's just life is so much easier when, when you don't need a lot of things. And you see in back of me, we we got when you move to Utah, you have to have you have to have bikes, you have to have skis, you have to have um, snowshoes. You have to, <laughs> there's there's certain things. We have, um, but we don't go crazy over it all. Stand up paddle boards. We have water in Utah. Yes, we have water. We have reservoirs. We have uh, big bodies of water that you can do water sports. People have boats here. People think about Utah like it's a desert, but it is. But there are, there's a lot of water. Although we've been going through a kind of a weird drought over the past couple of years, which is, which is not really good. But hopefully we're going to get more rain and a lot of snow. Pray for a lot of snow this winter all over, but hopefully here in Utah in the mountains, we need, we need snow. We need a lot of snow. We need water. Anyway, um, God, I really, really appreciate every single one of you who's been here this morning. I really appreciate it. This is a start of something that I think is going to be pretty cool. I'm going to try to do this as many times as I can during the week, um, in the morning, probably about this time, give or take. So just make sure you subscribe, make sure you set your notifications so you'll get notified when we're going live and, um, just check in and, I loved hearing from all you guys. This was really a blast. It, it shows me that it's it's going, we're going in the right direction here. So um, thanks for being with me. I'm Dr. Dave. The channel is called Microdose U. I also do an audio podcast version of the same thing. It's on um, what is it? Uh, Apple Podcasts. Um, Debbie Dave has a video called Microdosing Causing Anxiety. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Dom. I really appreciate it. Appreciate that because sometimes the questions I'm talking and the questions are long or the comments and they come in so fast. I don't get to see the whole, the whole question. So I appreciate that, Dom. That's exactly what I'm trying to achieve here. I really appreciate you guys. Um, till next time, hugs, kisses, everything in between. Talk to you soon. I am Dr. Dave. This is Microdose You. See you later.